Well, photography is perhaps the most effective form of art capturing the essence of history in images and time. One man who is using his craft to project Nigeria in breathtaking images is Dayo Adedayo. In TVC News anchor, Bukola Samuel Wemimo had an interesting chat with a man who has captured 4 million images on Nigeria. Nigerian photographer Dayo Adedayo knows the country well. Perhaps not nearly as the back of his palm, but enough to know the undiscovered beauty and mystery of its history, divinely bestowed on her by the Creator. With over 4 million pictures and 11 books on Nigeria to his credit, Adedayo is a man on a mission. But what drives a man to embark on this seemingly endless clicking spree on his country's landscape? Even some of our children, you know, we now have a lot of Nigerians and Africans in diaspora who do not even know anything about Nigeria. So I'm trying to tell the rest of the world, both Nigerians and lovers of Nigeria, is to say we have more than oil and gas. And you'll be surprised that Lagos State that we all see and know have the largest monument in Africa that nobody even talks about, which is in Ekwe, Shubenredo, dug over 2,000 years ago. And without people like us, it would have been very difficult for people to know about this. To achieve his imposing pictorial collection on Nigeria, Adedayo says he has toured the 774 local governments in Nigeria. You know, because of the amount of work that goes into it, 15 years on the road, sleeping rough, driving all over the country, nearly 924 square kilometers. That's a lot of work and not a penny from anybody. Are you being miserly about your work? Why are you keeping your work close to your chest if you're so patriotic? You will be shocked, like Nigeria 2.0. The Chinese embassy bought more quantity than any other embassy in Nigeria, followed by the da German embassy, Polish embassy, and the Swiss embassy. You know, and um, it's also shocking that the federal government of Nigeria did not give one one a grain of support to even buy in. They bought five or so, and it took them nearly 18 months to pay. Just five books. You know, I'm saying it live. How much is one? Only 50,000 naira. He shares some of the untapped aspects of Nigeria's natural monuments. Today in Nigeria, we have the largest monument in the world, 10 times greater than the Great Wall of China. Nobody talks about it which is in Benin. The Queen of Sheba was buried in Nigeria, Okeri, Nyanjabugbo, Ogun State. Nobody talks about it. Shibuaredo is there, dog related to the Queen of Sheba, carbon dated over 2,000 years ago. Nobody talks about it. Passion rather than profit births art. But Adedayo places a rather high financial premium on his books. 1,500. 12,500. That's your cheapest? That's my cheapest book, yes. Wow. Young learners have a lot to learn from Adidayo's tours around the country's beauty sites. But can they afford his books? Do you want to learn? If you want to, then education doesn't come cheap. And that is why education is not a profitable business. It's a charity business. When asked to talk about the feedback he gets about Nigeria from the impact of his works, Adidayo took a swipe at the Nigerian media. Yes. I'm on TV, I shouldn't be saying this, but I'm media are the worst enemy of Nigeria. Chicago, as at last month, 720 dead this year, fatally shot. Do you get to see that? Isn't it rather uh, unfair, you know, to make a blanket statement about the Nigerian media? But to Nigerian media, what they sell most are the bad news. And these foreigners pick their information, even the intelligence service pick their information from the media. So there are too many good things in Nigeria. For me, we need to celebrate the people that are turning this country around, not the politicians. I would rather respect Mama Lakara by the roadside, who wakes up at 5 a.m., we not close until 10 p.m., and send our words to invest it than a politician whose children are in Harvard. Like other artworks crafted with brush and color on canvas, 
Adedayo's images also elicit deep reflection. It's the mercy of God that made the lone tree to survive. Absolutely. This 55-year-old photographer was not born with a silver spoon. In the house I grew up, we don't have electricity. And we slept on mats. I was living with my maternal grandparents. I left Nigeria on my own volition. I work as a laborer on a building site in Abiyakuta. So I save every dint of money that I had to leave the country. Well, the ticket there was about 1,000 naira. Yeah, 1,000 naira. Just slightly less than 1,000 naira. Get my passports and stuff to get to the UK. And then getting to the UK, I started work the following day. Nobody, no father, no mother, no brother, no sister. Which was a lesson that I didn't know then. I was just thinking, at 22. So I started my life at 22 on my own. The British trained photographer from the Westminster College has just three words for the younger generation. For the younger generation, three things, education, education, education. Bukola Samuel Wemimo, TVC News.